Hey guys, this is Lex Avellino, and I'm here to show you how to turn any Blender scene into a 360 degree VR scene that you can post on Facebook or YouTube easily in just 30 minutes. Um, really, it's only as long as it takes you to render one image. That's how long it takes to make this. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, this is an alternative to using something like Sketchfab. You can post that on your uh, Facebook profile and people can spin around that. But the reason that I did it this way is that it gives you more control. Um, you can animate the camera this way. You can add animations to the scene. Um, you can guide them through a hallway or, you know, create something that is really under your control. Whereas when you drop your model in Sketchfab, you lose control. That's it. Um, and this just puts you in control the whole way through. And I want to see people doing more virtual reality type stuff with Blender that people can interact with on YouTube and Facebook. Um, so this is how I did it. I'll show you guys real quick what it is in case you haven't seen it. You know, it's sitting right here in the news feed. It's super easy for people to access. It's <clears throat> right there. Anyone scrolling through the news feed, they can spin around inside of it. Um, you know, if you're holding your iPhone, it's super cool because you can spin around. If you saw the video, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's super simple. That's it. Um, this is super easy to make, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're going to hop over into Blender. And this is the material view. This is all the simple materials. Um, ideally, you'd create a scene that's you know fully wrapped around. It's not something where it's only it only looks good from one angle. Um, you want something people can get inside of. Um, you could do this with any scene, um, but obviously it's going to look better if people can spin all the way around and they're not going to just see, you know, a blank wall or whatever. And here it is in the render preview. And, you know, if I pan out all the way, you can see this is essentially just a texture, texture painted sphere that's acting as the, you know, space. And then you've got two layers of clouds, which are spheres inside of that, which are just alpha map textures. Um, pretty easy to do to set up your 360 environment. You could do that with anything. You know, you can make it a desert or whatever. All you got to do is paint it onto the cube or use a, an HDRI. Um, yeah, and that's pretty easy. There's plenty of tutorials and that stuff. So you want to make sure your camera is set up right. You got to think about the camera as the head. So wherever your head is, or you're, wherever you want the virtual head to be in your Blender scene, that's where you want to put your camera. And take a peek through and make sure it's at the right, uh, you know, at the right spacing from everything. Uh, you want to make sure that you know people are going to be seeing the things you want them to see. It's a little weird. It might take a couple tries at first, um, but you set that up. And then the heart of it is over here. You're going to go into not your render settings, but your camera settings, and you're going to go from perspective to panoramic, and then you're going to choose equirectangular, which is a fun new word you get to learn which basically just means that the scene is going to uh, uh, turn the full orb of your vision into one little neat rectangle that YouTube or Facebook can interpret as 360 degree footage. Now the cool thing about this is all you need to do is render this out one time. All you need is one frame. And if you take that into any video editor that you like to use, you can draw it out, make that frame 30 seconds, a minute, whatever. People can sit in your scene all day long and spin around as if this was a video, when in all honesty it's just one picture. Um, and the cool thing about this is you can either quickly output your scene, one image in this panor panoramic equirectangular render, um, and just get people something they can sit inside of, um, spin around, put your camera wherever you want. Or, you can, you know, animate everything and render this out a hundred times and create however long you need of animation. You're in control, you can animate the camera, you can animate whatever you want. Um, but this, you know, allows you to do whatever you want with your scene instead of, you know, just putting it in Sketchfab and, you know, letting people sort of, you know, just dabble with it. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Um, once you have that render, you want to you know, go over to your uh, metadata injector if you want to put it in YouTube. And there's a handy little Google page that shows you how to do all this. 
Um, you could find this by just Googling, uh, what is it? If you Google uh, spatial media metadata injector, YouTube, you'll find it. Uh, it's pretty easy. And then with Facebook, you don't even need to do that. It'll inject the metadata automatically. And you just go into the advanced tab when you're uploading a video and click this is 360 and it'll interpret it for you. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys want to know anything more, if you've got any questions, feel free to shoot me a comment and I'll try and follow up. So that's all. You guys take care.